So a handful of my tech friends have brought this up and it's yet another problem with BGP. And I've actually done a video or two on this before and we're gonna talk about it again because, well, the problem still persists and hopefully one day we'll have BGP fixed. So quick background, BGP, Border Gateway Protocol, is how the internet routes itself. So while we talk a lot on this channel about routing internally in a network and firewalls and things like that, the rest of the world has a routing method as well. It's it obviously a much larger scale than uh, just routing in your office, but the concepts are still the same. And the BGP protocol is the way we understand these routes. Now, in the early days of the internet, everything was trusting and everything was just wonderful, big, happy place of academic sharing knowledge. So these protocols were implemented with that same, no one will do anything nefarious or bad or you know break any of this. But there is this case here. This is the recent one uh, regarding Google's getting hijacked. But like I said, this let's visualize this a little bit. And I, this is the site I've talked about before, and I used it in my video for how human error broke the internet on November 6, 2017. Here we are in November of 2018, and well, this time they hijacked Google. And what this allows you is each company is assigned an AS number autonomous systems number. So Google's is AS15169. And I'll leave a link to this here and I'll actually leave a drink, direct link here. And what you're looking at is a visualization for how BGP routes between all the different Google data centers, nodes, and everything that belongs to their autonomous system and how it touches other networks. Now, this is where things get a little goofy. There's just a lot of trust between companies like Level 3, Cogent, and all the different places in between, Hurricane Electric here. And these nodes, and this graph kind of scales the nodes based on number of interconnects between there, it's all the different ways that if one line breaks, another one will back up that line for the data to pass. But of course, there's kind of like, we're looking for the straightest path, so BGP can helps find the straightest path, or, it can also redirect, and this is, goes back to what's happening over here. We can see the straightest path somehow became China. So Google rerouted through China and came back over here. Now, this is one of the reasons for the absolute importantness of everything being an SSL. That way, despite the traffic being routed from this, it still is encrypted. And as long as no one has the encryption keys, we should be good to go. Now, let's go a little bit further in history, though. And I'll leave these links too if you want to read these. So this is a hijacking the internet using a BGP man in the middle attack back at DEF CON 16. This was from 2012. Uh, then we have the original AS7007 incident. And uh, this was the original Florida man. Uh, there's a whole case study on it and it has a Wikipedia page. And I see the original Florida man because somehow a system in Florida uh, to somehow turned the internet into all uh, slash 24 prefixes and broke the internet. And um, many of you that are watching this may not even be old enough to remember this, but I back I got enough gray here to tell you I was I was on the internet back then, and yeah, the internet broke. Um, but we kind of dealt with things like that. You know, this is back in the earlier days of the internet that sometimes things just didn't work. Um, and there's not a lot of detail, unfortunately, because no one really knows. They have a breakdown of the incident, but no one really knows exactly what happened. But it started with a Florida <laughs> router. So our original Florida man uh, somehow broke that. If you're not in the U.S., look it up. You'll get the joke. So it's still a huge problem. It's still there. It's Is it something to be concerned about? Yeah, but you can't do necessarily a lot about it. It's more pressure for, unless you happen to work at one of these big companies, replacing the broken and old BGP trust system that we have. And we've just seen this abused over and over again and misconfigured because most of the systems that run BGP are not easy. And so I know they don't necessarily put the new guy on it, but then if you don't change routes very often, you kind of are the new guy because you don't have a lot of experience with it. So you break things. And this is back my human error one. Nothing malicious was done. They just oopsed some BGP routes and broke them. And we've seen this happen before. It's just drives you nuts because you, know, you can't get to sections of the internet. Uh, it's happened to AWS. It's happened to all of them. They didn't go down. The routing tables got messed up that connects the connection from you to them. So I'll leave you with this so you can read into it and get a better understanding. I love playing with this site because it lets you dig into connections between everything.
it's just kind of a fun visualization. And when you take out the search, I'll show you what it renders when you look at just how big and just how many routes there are. Yeah, it's huge. And these are just these are not all the computers online. These are all BGP routes that are in here and are just it's a lot of we've really made a complicated machine with this internet. And because of it, it's um being able to drill into and look at each one of them you start to get an idea of the scale and the scope of getting all these individual companies to agree on how all the routing works. And that's where the challenge lies. We need a better trust system for this. Google's been working on some replacements for BGP for a long time. It's just really hard to get everyone on the same page because they're kind of like, well, as long as we trust each other, it works until it doesn't. But then we fixed it within a few hours. So it's really not a big deal, right? It's a matter of time. These scenarios have been played out, and they're not really – well, I guess they could be considered more doomsday scenarios as our dependence on the Internet increases. Uh, but being off the Internet for a day or two doesn't always, now always seem like a bad thing. You know, I guess I could take a day off work because no Internet. We don't get to do as much. So these are my thoughts on it. I'll leave you all these links in the description below so you can do some further reading on it and dig into it. And be as scared as the rest of us that BGP is just still broken. Today in 2018, as it was back when the AS707 incident happened back in April of 1997. Wow, it's been a while. Anyways, thanks. Um, share your thoughts below in, you know, if you can influence the change of BGP because you have a position that you can do that. It's got to be done. I don't know when it will happen. Um, maybe we'll be revisiting this video again <laughs> um, or because the next time BGB hijacks and makes a mess out of things. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. Leave us some feedback below to let us know any details, what you like and didn't like as well, because we love hearing the feedback. Or if you just want to say thanks, leave a comment. If you want to be notified of new videos as they come out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon. That lets YouTube know that you're interested in notifications. Hopefully they send them, <laughs> as we've learned with YouTube. Anyways, if you want to contract us for consulting services, you go ahead and hit lawrencesystems.com and you can reach out to us for all the projects that we can do and help you. We work with a lot of uh, small businesses, IT companies, even some large companies, and you can farm different work out to us or just hire us as a consultant to help design your network. Also, if you want to help the channel in other ways, we have a Patreon. We have affiliate links. You'll find them in the description. You'll also find recommendations to other affiliate links and things you can sign up for on lawrencesystems.com. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.